Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Iconoclasts. We are uh, back outside in the blizzard, um, where, as you may notice, there is this uh, flag. Which is curiously pointing in the wrong direction here, but uh, let's not worry about that too much. So yeah, I've uh, basically uh, arrived here. As you can see, we already have 100% map completion. I did not remember whether we were done here, but uh, item-wise we were. I still made a little bit of a of a roundabout trip just to see whether I would, would find anything interesting. I basically just went up from the safe point uh, from the from the teleport point and down the mountain and I saw this. Uh, now I don't think there is a secret room here. Oh yeah, but uh Leticia actually just hanging out uh in the open here. Hmm, curious. Fitzroy uh, appearing revolted. Fitzroy appearing revolted by the appearance of the love of his life would abandon his undead beloved. I must leave the public until I forget again. He decided that he could not return until he had forgotten what she became, and even who she was. He would wait for the for the heavens to once more grant him the wish to forget his loved one. But he remembered. He eventually hid away from the entire world. He was never seen again. Some say he forgot everything except the face of his love. Robin, don't hide from your problems. Don't hide from mistakes. There is no higher power to grant us such wishes, because nobody deserves them more than the other. Life is consequences. My fairy tale is over, but are you satisfied? Um, I honestly can't say that I am. I was expecting a bit more out of this. I mean, are we gonna meet again? Okay, this is of course still the same. Is there supposed to be some kind of hint in here? I mean, Fitzroy. What, what do we know? Fitzroy was undead. Uh, not undead. Was was immortal, and lived for a very long time. And he fell in love with uh, mortals, of course, with mortal women. Uh, the first died, and he was sad. But uh, he lived long enough to actually forget about her because, well, either he lived really, really long, or his uh, immortality somehow had had the side effect of his memory just fading away over time faster than maybe it normally would. Um, and then he fell in love again for a second time after he had forgotten, forgotten his pain uh, and he wanted to make her immortal because he felt that she was uh, the one who was destined for him. Uh, but in doing so something went wrong I guess and his beloved turned into, into a monster but also became immortal. And he uh, would not actually forget her. Right, he remembered. He forgot everything except the face of his love. Don't hide from your problems. Life has consequences. Yeah, I don't know. I, hmm. I guess I'm just gonna keep looking. I mean, we've. Oh, I really wish I could. Y you could look at um, the areas of all uh, the, the maps of all the areas cycling through them. But let's see, uh, we have found her in, well, for the first time in Settlement 17 in Block Rock. Then we've seen her again in uh, the second time, oh, it was in Charred Wasteland. Then in the Shockwood. Then in uh, uh, in Easy Lugar. And then here, this should be the fifth time, right? So the only re uh, regions or the only areas that are left are I guess the concern um, facilities that we're about to visit. And I suppose technically also the tower in Shockwood, which is its own area after all. Hmm. Well. I guess we'll just see we'll have to see if we if we run into her. Um for now I guess since I don't know that I'm looking for anything else here, I'm gonna make a cut and make my way all the way up the mountain and over into uh, One Concern West. Because I'm absolutely sure that we're not done with that place. There should be quite a few things to to collect back there and maybe we'll find Leticia there. I don't know. Uh, could be. Either way, I'm going to make a cut and I'm going to see you in a moment. Okay, we are in One Concern West. Um by the save point already, and as you can see, we have 77% completion, so there is still 
um, potentially quite a bit left to find. Now, I've previously talked about the obvious, uh, like, um, symmetry in, that is present in the western half of this area. In particular, there is one room that is missing from the upper half, and then um, a bit up and to the right from here. And then there is the uh, the middle part of the of the section right above here, which you know is suspiciously missing. Although it might not actually be, there might not actually be anything there. We, I'll I'll definitely go ahead and try and um, and, and and look for something there. Uh, we do have the sleuth um, tweak equipped, which uh, should allow us to detect any secret rooms possibly. So. Uh, that will hopefully come in handy, but yeah, there there should definitely be more than one uh, item missing. So, um, oh, actually, there might be something below here. Come to think of it, that I didn't even see. Yeah, right below here, there should be another room if there is any symmetry going on. Hmm, I'm not getting the hint though. Um, a little exclamation point icon should appear. Oh, is it right here? Is it here? Oh, really? That's not hidden at all. Hmm. I guess because I really, because I never really looked around this room to begin with, or else this would have been really easy to find. Actually, I guess the solution to this is just like that. Something like that. Oh, well, I I almost made it. Okay, metallium. Yep, that's that out of the way. Huh. Yeah, that did not even... I didn't even see that before. But see, that's exactly what I'm talking about. That makes me pretty confident that uh, in the location that I was talking about before, there is also going to be a little hidden room. And then maybe the section above. So that was actually 11%. So we're looking at exactly two more items. And possibly Leticia? Also, uh, actually, on the way, on the way here, we came uh, by Myron's boat. Which reminded me that um, we have not seen Captain Myron in a while. And he said that he was going to try and complete the map of his, um, well, the map of the world. I wonder if uh, he's actually somewhere to be found. Maybe not, though. Also, the door to this place actually was open, so no need to somehow bypass uh, the camera. Not sure if... Uh, I mean... Ultimately, it's just for convenience, because obviously we would have had no other way to get back in here. Or no easy way. But I guess uh, a possible explanation would be that um, every everyone that was still here uh, just escaped all the um, One Concern employees. Because obviously the entire Concern has by now completely collapsed. Oh wow, uh, you kill those pretty easily now. That's nice. Alright. Wait. This is not where I want to go at all. Whoops. Actually, I should have probably made a jump cut, but then again... It shouldn't take that long to get there. Now should it. Oh, this room. Mm, well, I mean, it's just a little bit annoying to navigate. Not necessarily hard, though. What? Excuse me? Um... Why didn't that work? No, wait, that, why does that not work? That should work. Okay, I mean, I, I guess I can just... Just dodge the things, but... Uh, uh, or I could... Take them from below. That should work. I mean, that works. Oh, and I still mess up. Come on, this should not be hard. Please. There we go. And jump up, and jump there. Wait for the laser, because why not? Um. Okay. There we go. Here. I guess it's more precise than it looks. 
Wow, okay, that was... That almost didn't work. Okay, well. Here we are. Okay, and there is a... Uh, secret in this room somewhere. As expected. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Stupid cooldown. Okay, it's... Wait. Hold on. Over here? And below here. Oh, okay. I think I see it. Yep. Okay. Actually kind of obvious. Technium. Nice. That should bring us to... Oh, actually, I'm dumb. I, I can't do math. Uh, yeah. Okay, that was... That's embarrassing. Obviously, 88 plus 12 is 100. Um, okay, well, never mind then. I guess we are potentially done here. That probably means that there is nothing to be found uh, further to the left here in that large room. Or, not room, but... Oh, it's this one, where, we, where you go up the... Uh, the chimney. Hmm, wait. Were these here before? Oh, I guess, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is actually where we ran into um, Zenaida. Hmm. What's what this place, though? Looks kind of suspicious, doesn't it? Um. I don't remember anything about this. Oh, no, I, I kind of do. What is this here? Oh, that, that tells you, that reminds you that you can charge your shot. And then do this. Yeah, I guess it, yeah, 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 of course. This is where you found the... Where we found the uh, usurper gun. Okay, 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 okay. It's been a while. Not that long, technically, but, you know. Terrible memory and all that. Well, um... 99% completion. Well, I mean, I guess this place is complete. Unless there is a Leticia to be found. Oh, I don't really feel like going through all this this entire area again on the off chance that she might be here i don't know for some reason i don't have a feeling that she would really be hanging out here i mean so far she has been you know hiding out in i guess we did see her in settlement 17 at first but other than that she has been in you know caves and stuff well actually she has been un in the labs underneath Isidogar, so probably completely disregard anything I just said. She could totally be in here. I don't know. I mean, as far as we know, she's not affiliated with the uh, with the concern in any way, and it just doesn't seem like she would be hiding, uh, like she would be, would be hanging out in a place uh, controlled by the concern, you know. But then again. That might totally be the case. And yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, why? Oh, because I still have to do this. Or I have to do this again, I should say. Okay. Thank goodness. Wait. Wait. Oh, I need to be... Oh my god. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna pause and go the right way this time. That's stupid. I should have just looked at the map, I guess. <sighs> well, I guess if I'm pausing anyway, I, I might, might as well make my way through this area again real quick and see if I can find Leticia's sign somewhere. And, uh, well, if not, I guess uh, we'll be moving on to the next area, then. <sighs> this is silly. Okay, I made my way all the way over here without running into anything unusual. And then I noticed that this is open. And, yeah, actually... Oh, yeah, this was not on the map at all. But, um, apparently... I will be able to go through here. Oh, wait, this is just going to be... Oh, yeah, totally. Huh, okay. Strange contraption. Um, 
Well, I don't know if this is the last one. But it's definitely convenient to have. Not that I expect to ever have to return here. Hmm. But that's cool. I wonder if I could have unlocked this before? I mean, obviously this place was not open when I came here the first time, right? When I dropped down here, there must have been some kind of door in place, or else I would have gone there. Unless I just didn't see that there was a door? I don't know, I guess it's not entirely impossible. Hmm. Well, I can go through here now. But actually, yeah, shuttle platforms, that's right. Um, actually, though, below here is the the purple sand room, right? Is that open now? I mean, open again? Yeah, I guess it should be, because Black obviously escaped from here. Hmm. Nothing's different, though. Okay. I guess it was worth checking. The train's thankfully waiting here. Because, um... We are at 99% completion now, overall. According to the save screen. So, uh... I think... Yeah, okay. We're not done here at all. Hmm. Yeah, in fact, there should be one more item, right? We found two, and that's that was exactly 33% per item. I just couldn't find the the last missing item last time. So let's see if I cannot find that at least. This place is definitely not very large. And in fact, uh, well, we'll see, I guess. There you can see the 99% completion for a split second. Yeah, um, these sections, the... Oh, actually... The game displays a secret room in this room. Oh, I guess there is one here. Yeah, that would be that secret passage, probably. It doesn't um, distinguish between things you've already found and, you know, new things. It just shows you that there is something. So I guess that must be referring to the passage over to the right. But yeah, um, both the uh, Mina and Elro specific sections are not um, accessible. So I can only look around here. Well, in the in the areas that I could have previously could previously have traveled with. Uh... With Robin, my God. Okay. Um. Yes, this is where we found Elro, of course. Right. I guess this is his lab, perhaps. Hmm, or do we know if this place had some some other special significance? Hmm. I mean, we know that he used to work here. Actually, hold on a sec. Is this...? Hmm, I thought that maybe this particular corridor might have been where one of the cutscenes uh, took place. The one where Elro killed Grey. Hmm. Not true, though. Might have been somewhere else. Actually, no, no, this is some kind of infirmary, actually. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe we've seen the... We've seen the real area. Okay, um... So, the item might be... Over in this main section. That leads toward the... Uh, the shuttle, wait. A secret in this room? Really? Um... Where, though? Really? Oh! Oh! Well, here, I guess. Huh. That connects over to... Oh, this room as well? Oh... Uh, wait. I guess, technically, maybe this is... This was supposed to be the way... You'd be, uh... You'd be exiting. Oh. Yeah, I t completely forgot about the existence of that. Oh, yeah, you see this. Interesting. Hmm. 
No, there's also an you know a suspicious one, uh, wall pe pattern, I guess. It's interesting that the uh, that the passage actually becomes transparent just by approaching. Hmm. I mean, I don't have to go that way at all, though. Since interestingly, you can just climb through here. Okay, well, I mean that's very straightforward. Just teleport up there and actually open the thing directly. Procured Improvium. And that's Achievement Unlocked uh, Boku Booty. Okay, 100% completion. <sighs> Alright. Okay, that feels good. We're done with all of that then. And yeah, there wouldn't be anything over this way. Except maybe some kind of Easter egg, but I... I mean, not that I have reason to uh, suspect that specifically. Uh, well then, I mean... I don't think I can return to City 1, can I? Not that I want to. Because that place def definitely didn't have any items. I mean, in fact, we know that because we have all the items. Or else we wouldn't have gotten that achievement. Oh, the train is still here. And it does allow me to go back. Hmm. Could Leticia possibly be over here? Oh, also, it's definitely not very nice anymore. I, I mean, specifically, it's it's night and it's raining. Oh, can we even... Oh, hold on. Yeah, we cannot even return this way. Hmm. It still shows the entire map, of course, but uh, yeah, it doesn't look like we can actually return to City 1. Okay, well, fair enough. I mean, there is... As far as I can tell, absolutely nothing for me to get there. So, um, yeah, I don't know. What I guess what does remain, uh, other than going underground and confronting the worm, of course. Well, Leticia, I guess. There must be some kind of conclusion to that questline. But I didn't see her in Concern West, and I'm, I very much doubt that she would be in Concern East, because this is just such a small place. Because the entire um, eastern part is basically inaccessible. So, I don't know. I guess I should probably just look up uh, where the next location is. Because if it's in, in one of the areas that we've already been to, then, I don't know, I guess that's a little bit cheap. Unless she's back in Settlement 17 where we first met her. I guess that's an option that I should at least check. But, um, yeah, either way, in the... In the interest of not making this too long and tedious and boring, I'm going to pause again and as soon as I have something interesting to show, I'm gonna see you again. So, um, see you in a moment. Alright, well, this is uh, more obvious than I was expecting. I did check over in Settlement 17 and she was not there. I didn't really expect to see her there, uh, but then, actually, uh, this place occurred to me. Or, well, I, I remember finding this place all the way down underwater and uh, thinking that it probably had to do with something, possibly some kind of quest, and since there really aren't that many quests remaining, in fact, I mean, only one that I know of, uh, I decided to head over here and in fact, yes, um, there is Leticia's flag, so... Oh. I did not equip any breath enhancements, though, which... Actually, you know what? I should really do that. In fact, um... Oh, this is... Hold on. Okay, good. I should definitely replace the uh, sleuth enhancement. Because I will no longer need that. I wonder if one breath enhancement is enough, though. I mean, I, I guess I'll find out. If not, and I end up dying, then I will make a cut until I make it, make it back to the underwater cave to save us all some time. Well, you, basically. Not really me so much. Okay. Let's see if we can do this. Uh, I don't know. So it's a pretty long dive. Hmm. Oh, this is a really long dive. I don't know about this. Oh, well, maybe? Just barely? 
Uh, no, this is not gonna be enough. I think you need at least two. Oh, it's so close. It's so close. Although, hold on. <gasps> oh no! Oh no! Really? I, I bet you could do it. Just, just barely. And there is, there is a bed in that corridor to let you rest. Hmm. Well, okay. I'm expecting some kind of fight in there, so... I will, yeah, uh, obviously, put on two Breathless, and... I mean, technically, I probably don't need this, even in a fight. So maybe... Maybe a cooldown for bombs? Let's try that. Um, right. Reverse this. I said I wanted to make a, a cut, right? But uh, well, I'm confident that I'll be able to make it now that I, you know, after making it almost with only one uh, breath enhancement. Yeah, this is already looking much better. More than half of our air left. Yeah, that should be no problem at all. Well, that being said, it is still a pretty long way, but actually we should be able to make it without losing any health. Yeah, that makes a huge difference. There we go. Hmm. Oh. No fight at all. Insanity schematic. Well, oh, what? Wait. Yeah, that wasn't there before. Uh-oh. Um. I don't like this one bit. Uh, Leticia? Fitzroy? Wait, Leticia. Is she the the mutated undead lover? Guess that is not Leticia. Um What? Okay, that is some kind of magician. Um I guess I did equip this. Hmm. Is there a limited space? Is she eventually just going to crush me, basically? Okay. Oh, whoa, what? Uh, now it's a boss fight. It does. It did seem a little bit too easy. Oh boy. Okay. Missile? What are those things? Am I supposed to... Oh. Okay. Just dodge. I see. Oh god. Yeah, this is uh, a lot of stuff to keep track of. Uh, should we save? Yeah, okay. Oh god. Well, I was not safe there. I'm not sure if my strategy is working out. Maybe I should be doing this? No? No? Um, wait, am I still... I guess I... What am I attacking? The face? I wasn't attacking the face before. It kind of worked. Oh boy. Okay, yeah. You just... I guess actually you have to use explosives to... A to even damage the face. Alright. Ah. Uh, God, it's so hard to keep track of what attack he's currently using. Okay, those things. Okay, it's bubbling underneath. So he uses that. Oh god. Um, okay. 
I was safe there. Oh, this I did not see the spikes. Jesus. Yeah, this is not gonna work. Uh. Okay, meteor. Flinging things. Spikes. Okay, okay. Jump over spikes. Dodge the the rock. Nope, I did not dodge the rock. Oh, spikes. Oof. I don't know how I how I dodge those. Okay, next phase. Oh my god, this is terrifying. And now he's actually taking damage from everything and I'm dead. Oh god. Wow, what a fight. Holy crap. Please allow me to retry from there. Oh, this is... This is insane. Okay, um... Especially since the game basically forces you to use, well, at the very least, one one tweak on Breathless. I guess I'm gonna try making it with only one. So I can use two more useful tweaks. Uh, which one would I use, though? Which ones? I don't need to deflect anything, I think. I guess I pretty much need this. Shock all you know. Although, technically, I guess uh, if I could shock myself and uh, and then shoot bombs, those would deal more damage. I think that must be the case. The thing is, I will lose this eventually. Hmm. But still, maybe it's worth it. Then cool down here and breathless. I mean, I could put one um, iron heart to absorb at least one hit. But that's not going to make a huge difference in the long run. Also, I'm not entirely sure I can actually make it with only one lung. So, uh, that's the wrong one. So, yeah. Um, hmm. This is going to be interesting. Okay, anyway, I'm going to pause recording and make my way back to the boss fight. Hopefully, I can make it this way or else I'll have to go back to two brothers. Well, we'll see. Well, as you can see, I made it here with uh, this much health remaining. So, yeah, that was a matter of half a second or so. That's uh, That doesn't exactly fill me with confidence. Or rather, I should say that um, that's really extremely mean to force you to go through all of this. And even if you make it with with two lungs, you know, it's just it just takes a while. I mean, it's just really, really mean. Yeah, at least this allows me to shoot electrified grenades at a pretty decent rate, decent speed. I just really wish they they had put a safe point down here. <sighs> oh well. Skip that, I guess. What little it is. Okay, just drop those. Oh, nope. Definitely don't take damage during this phase because that would be extremely silly. Okay. Okay, dodge those. Oof, somehow. More of those, okay. Wait, has he been taking any damage at all? Wait, he's not taking... Mm, that sucks a lot. Doesn't actually take damage from that. Oh, man. Wait, is he taking any damage? Oh yeah, now he is. Okay. Well, that sucks a lot. Oh god, this is such terrible. Such a terrible attempt. Oh no. These these things. I will never be able to dodge them. In conjunction with everything else. Holy crap. First time went so much better. It's kind of ridiculous. Why doesn't... 
Why don't electrified shots deal more damage, though? Or any damage, really. That's so bad. Okay, it's bubbling up, let's see. Yeah, I mean, I can basically give up. Also, I swear that in some cases, uh, those lasers are just completely unavoidable. If they happen to be basically uh, parallel to the ground, I mean, you're just screwed, right? They're... unless you time your jump v perfectly, but they last for a moment. So you'd have to stay in the air for long enough. I don't know. Wow, this is... this is extremely rough. Well, if nothing else, I guess I, now I know that I don't need this one. In fact, it doesn't seem like... Uh, I don't know, maybe Wavy Beam would help? Pass through walls. I don't know, maybe... Maybe that would allow me to, to use uh, the Usurper attack to shoot through its face armor, I guess? That's a big if. I guess I, I can try that once. See if that works. Of course, I'll have to make my way down to the cave again. Oh man, that sucks. That sucks a lot. Uh, well, see you back there in a second. Well, here we go again. See if this works any better. I mean, this gun definitely hurts him in this phase, at least. And it does destroy those rocks immediately. Okay. Yeah, but now it doesn't... Nope, it's definitely not working. Ah, goddammit. I took stupid damage there. Okay, I ran right into that one. Awesome. If only there was some kind of way to evade these things. Really, there's definitely no point in uh, complaining, that's for sure. Okay, let's go here. Okay, I happen to blow that rock up. Oh, One of those things again, I should be safe here. And then the hand got me. Okay, hand again. Uh, oh no, okay, safe here. Uh, what is it? Those things? Okay. Uh, rocks, and that should be okay. Spikes. Oh. Oh. Um, actually, stay down here. Playing those things. Ooh. Rock, and more. Spikes, and more spikes. And the hand. Okay. Ugh! I hit by that. Oh. Closely dodge that. What is it? Oh. Those things again. Okay, should be save ish. Ugh. Of course I was not. Oh no, I, got, I get hit by everything. So frustrating. Ugh. Ugh. And by that thing. Yep, 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 yep. I I just keep messing up. And it... Rip. Well. Last phase again, but... Uh, I mean... Takes a ton of damage, but... Oh, that thing! Of course, of course. Jesus, this is rough. Oh... <sighs> Wait. Uh, tweaks. I mean, I guess I know now that this is not going to help at all. So, um... Let me equip this in the safest spot. Safest slot. Um, and then I'll just equip an Iron Heart. 
to tank at least one hit. I guess that will give me some leeway. I don't think anything else will help me. Of course, we do get that schematic, that insanity schematic, in the cave right before the boss fight. I wonder if it would be worth returning uh, to the surface to see what, what that actually creates, what that allows me to create, if it would be something that could potentially help me with a fight. I don't know, what could it be though? I am curious, but I don't really want to make my way all the way down, and then all the way up, and then all the way down again. So I guess I'm just going to keep trying. It's not like the fight is impossible, it's just really tough. So yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to try at least a couple more times. Okay, here we are again. And I'm gonna try and just stay quiet and focus this time. Let's see how that works, if that makes any difference. Oh, okay. That was sheer luck. Yeah, this is gonna be bad, okay. Oh, this thing. Okay, what the... <sighs> okay, wow, I actually killed it. <sighs> Achievement unlocked melodrama. Jesus. Screw you, Fitzroy. What the heck? crap. My heart is pounding. Whew. <laughs> Jesus. I don't know why I took so little damage this time. I felt like I was hit. Thank you, Roman. Yeah. Here I am, Fitzroy. I mean, yeah, I figured as much. She's obviously his lover. He, I mean, with her armor slash mask, she doesn't look so, so terrible and disfigured, but uh, I guess we don't know what she looks like underneath. By the ancestors, you can't even stand up. No more running. No more pity. You and I are unnatural. People are not meant to live for as long as we have. I am losing my mind, Fitzroy. I have been terrified of it. But I got to you in time. Your mind clearly faded a long time ago. You have your body, but not your mind. I still have my mind, but not my body. Okay, here we are, um, back 
uh, just before beating the boss, hopefully. I mean, it looks like I can't lose at this point. It uh, should be literally one or maybe two shots away from death. Um, yeah, so my PC uh, crashed, froze actually. Um, perfectly timed, I suppose, af just after I defeated the boss for the first time. Uh, thankfully, it only took me one more attempt to, to actually beat it again. Uh, yeah, it turns out once you've done it once, and you know, also when you're focusing and not talking, it becomes easier. So here we are again, and uh, this time hopefully my computer will not deny me uh, recording this victory and what comes after it, so uh, yeah, here we go. There we go, <laughs> alright. Brain is gonna explode? No? Just fade away. Right, then Leticia, aka. Uh, no, actually, that is her name. Leticia comes back. Yes. And we learn. Well, I mean, it was kind of, kind of obvious before, but. Yes. We learn that this was indeed Fitzroy, and um, the story she told us is most likely actually true. Right, you're both unnatural. He lost his mind, but Lee, um, uh, she lost her body, yep. And this is exactly where it crashed before. I leave everything behind, just to be left behind. For you, for you, then by you. We were going to watch every night sky, uh, every night sky there would ever be, until each and every star had faded. Eternity is only the dream of irresponsible children. Nothing with a pro propensity for fear would ever endure eternity. Times we live in may keep our bodies dive longer, dive longer, alive longer, wow. But our minds will not keep up. We live for enough time so that we forget everything we lived so long for. Only in death will you atone, Fitzroy, not in this sanctum of self-pity and doubt. I have remained alive solely for this day. I finally found a person who subdued you. I will bring us death at, le at last. Do not fear it. That is the only purpose we ever had. Okay, that's pretty bleak, but... I will see you in another realm, Robin, the mechanic. Sure. Welp. Oh. I mean, I don't know how exactly... Oh, okay, this is actually blocked off now. I don't know how she would... Kill them both? Can Im the immortals, like, end their own life and other immortals' lives willingly? Also, I'm pretty sure I saw that autosave icon in the, in the corner, so even if I should for some reason not make it back out of here alive, I think we should be good. I guess I'm also going to end the episode with this, and next time might be short, depending on how much there is actually left to do. If it's really only the boss. The worm and then the credits. I guess it might be pretty close, uh, pretty pretty short, but um, we'll see. I'm not gonna risk, or not really risk. I mean, it's the next day. My PC. Wait, I'm actually dying. I did not actually die. Wow, that was really close. I thought I went pretty much the optimal path, but I guess not. Um, anyway, yeah. There's, yeah. Um, I, I'm not really expecting the PC to crash again. By the way, which um, which had nothing to do with the game, as far as I can tell. It's just a PC thing. You know, just a PC thing, just something PCs do. Um, they really shouldn't, but sometimes they do. Um, I am going to change my stuff. Uh, actually, having the Iron Heart in the, in the leftmost slot, uh, as opposed to the rightmost, um, has the benefit of uh, being restored multiple times over the course of a long combat, because you do re regenerate some ivory uh, squares, I guess, uh, while fighting. So, occasionally you will absorb an additional hit, which, uh, of course, can make the difference. And here, I guess, um, I did restore it a good number of times during the fight, so uh, it did save me quite a, quite a bit of damage. Of course, it does mean that um, in its place you don't have some other bonus that you might want to to have during the fight, but really in this one there wasn't really that much other than maybe the cooldown for this for the first phase, um, the cooldown reduction for bombs for the first phase. Um, there wasn't really any other bonus that would have been super helpful. 
Uh, of course, we don't need the lungs anymore, like, ever. Let's put something kind of useful in the middle, like that. Save progress. There you go. And, yeah, we did get this schematic that is apparently, uh, like, secret? Optional? It's definitely... Excuse me. Definitely did not count towards, um... Completion. Or, you know, crafting all the... All the available uh, tweaks. So um, we'll see what that actually gives us. I guess some some kind of Easter eggy thing, maybe some kind of super crazy bonus. Uh, either way, um, I very much doubt that it's gonna use up more than three materials, right? I'm, I guess we'll see. Maybe it takes all the rest of the materials that we have. But if not, I guess we'll actually end the game with a couple of extras. Oh, roulette. At least it still works when broken. Huh. Okay. It will still work when broken? But the at least part seems to seems to imply that maybe it's not actually all that good. Or, you know, maybe it's uh, like a double-edged sword, roulette. I mean, I, I guess it implies RNG and, you know, a gamble. Uh, equip tweaks. Whoa! Okay, wait. Or this is just completely random effects. I'm not pressing any buttons, by the way. I'm auto-jumping. Okay, I'm still auto-jumping. What the heck? I thought maybe that... Oh, this is going to be awkward. Can I please interact? Um, this is a problem. I'm, I see the prompt. But it... Might be frame perfect to actually. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, I was mashing the the, the down button there. Okay, I want to see if. Nope, it's still doing this. All right, yeah, let's take that off. What? Why would this be good? Unless it is supposed to be a random effect, but. God, I mean, it persists through screen transition and resting at the statue. Oh, God, this is obnoxious. Oh no, this was a mistake. Come on, please. Oh, there we go. Uh, yeah, let's take that off forever. <laughs> I don't know, maybe there is something, some benefit to this, potentially? I will have to, um, to look that up, I guess. But, <laughs> that's not a per particularly good reward. Um, I mean, we did, we did get an achievement, we did finish another quest line, and, you know, uh, get the, uh, the conclusion to that little storyline and all that, and. Obviously, we, we had the boss fight itself, which was pretty cool. I mean, I'm really not a fan of having such a long trek back to a boss. Um, you know, no easy way to, to quickly restart after dying. That seems... Well, I've, I'm never a fan of that kind of thing. Uh, basically punishing the player for, um, for dying by making him do something tedious and time-consuming. You know, that's, that's the worst kind of thing you can do. Just... Uh, Super quick restarts. Just let me, you know, mash my face against something if I if I really want to, uh, without long downtimes in between. Uh, that's ideal, if you ask me. But I mean, it's an optional boss fight, and uh, for the vast majority of the game, it has been handled very, very well, with uh, you know, checkpoints in before, um, in front of every single boss fight. Why they didn't do that for the for the optional fights and just maybe give you an option to to get out of the loop if, if you want to. I'm not sure, but that's okay. Um, I'm gonna stop rambling and complaining now. Uh, next time we're gonna head toward, uh, well, toward the, uh, the west from here, down into that hole where the worm crashed into the planet and see what we can do about that situation. Uh, for the time being, I thank you very much for watching, as always. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and I shall see you real soon. Bye-bye.